throughout the week, when I had a chance to walk around, and some of the volunteers saw me on the ground, they called me all kind of biblical names, like Moses, or Joseph, and even Jesus. And I had to disappoint them because I wasn't playing any of those roles, really. My role in the Bible class was that of the storyteller. Now, we had lots of um, skits. We had uh, wonderful acting. But those were done mostly by the kids and by my wonderful team. I would need a kid to volunteer to play Joseph this morning. Okay, well, I will uh, take him. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What's your name? Abram. 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 Abraham, welcome. Give Abraham a round of applause, please. And uh, now, please come here to the middle of the stage. Here, here. And I need two boys and two girls. Okay, two boys, come on. And two girls. Okay. Come on, come on. And one more girl. Thank you. All right. I need you guys to dress Joseph up and uh, put him in the pit. Okay, which one is the pit here? There's the pit. Okay, so now you dress Joseph up. Make him a fancy coat. All right. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Excellent. And now do the pit around him. Come on. Mark, you didn't come, Mark. All right. Good. Yes. Well, that pit is a little off. Okay. So this is the moment when uh, Joseph is at a very low point, really. But it can get even worse for him because his clothes are torn apart. And you do that for Joseph now. Oh, 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 oh. watch, 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 watch. Not like that. Don't, don't kill him. No, no, no. All right. And then Joseph is taken to where? Uh, Pharaoh. To Pharaoh in the land of? Egypt. Egypt. Take him to the land of Egypt, okay? Thank you. Give them a round of applause. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. You can leave this here. Because that's the, that's the mess. That's a mess that sometimes is created in our families. With all the best intentions, there is all kind of even e evil things that can happen in our families. And when you look around, it's all a mess. But the story goes on. Joseph gets to Egypt land and uh, who's the chief of Egypt? 
I need my Pharaoh to come out. Where's my Pharaoh? Oh, he's, he's pretty sleepy. And we want to do the Wake Up Pharaoh episode because that was one of the best episodes. He's falling asleep now. He's going to be dreaming. Now you, can, you can even hear how he dreams. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Guys, I need you to wake Pharaoh up. On count of one, two, three, we are going to shout, Pharaoh, wake up, okay? One, two, three. Pharaoh, what was the dream about? I, I think I had a dream about some, some cows. I, I believe I can... Cows? Can I hear the cows? Mm. Oh, that's exactly what they sounded like. Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. There what kind of cow? Oh, there were, some, there were some big fat cows, and they were eating this grass. They were having a good time. And then seven scrawny, skinny cows ate the other cows up. It was scary. It was a scary dream. Scary dream. Wow. I wonder that, what that means. We would need somebody to tell us the meaning of the dream. And that dream came back to you again. In a different way, right? Yes, yes, yes. Another one was there were seven years of grain. They were really tall and healthy. And then seven other skinny, dying grain ate the other seven grain up, just like the first dream. I don't know what all this means. I don't know what it means. Well, hopefully we will get somebody that can explain that dream. Anybody can explain the dream? Well, take your seat for the moment. <laughs> Thank you. Because we are speaking about Joseph here, but actually we are talking about somebody much bigger than Joseph. Because there are some things Joseph's brothers did to Joseph that we did to somebody else much bigger than Joseph. What did Joseph's brothers do to Joseph? One. What was that? No. First they, first they mocked him. Yes. Did we mock somebody bigger than Joseph? Who's that? Jesus. He was mocked. And then, what did they do? They tore down his clothes. Do we know of somebody whose clothes were taken and uh, they hung him naked? Almost Jesus. What else did they do to him? They threw him now the pit. What was the story with the pit? Threw him into a pit. Did we do something like that to Jesus? Yes. Yeah, we put him on the cross. What else happened to Joseph? He was sold into slavery. Was Jesus sold? Yes. How many silver? How many? 20 or 30? Because one is 20, one is 30. Okay. What else happened to Joseph? What was it? 
What was it? He was sent into slavery. And in slavery, he was put in? In jail. Did we put Jesus in jail? Yeah. He was put in a tomb. It was like the jail of death. I need the sweet spot of our uh, team to come out. Can you please move in that uh, corner? Thank you. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to invite uh, Charlotte to come out. Charlotte? Oh, she's coming. Who are you, Charlotte? Um, I am an ancient wo mourning woman with oil. Okay, and where are you heading? Uh, to Jesus' tomb. Oh, and what are you going to do there? Put oil on it. Okay, can we smell some of that oil? Anybody wants to smell uh, myrrh and uh, frankincense? Yeah, just allow a few people to smell that. You can even smell it in the air because that will not stay in one place. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Charlotte, for uh, playing many, many roles. But I can see that Charlotte has children's skills, wonderful children's skills. She always was able to relate nicely to the kids and uh, help them find their place. Thank you. Please join Navon there. And now, I know you guys, you want to volunteer to be Joseph. But uh, I will bring somebody out. Hey, Peter. Where's Peter? Oh, please take a seat. You know that at first, Joseph's brothers did not recognize him. You know why? Because this was now 20 plus years later. In 20 years, somebody can change a lot. So, uh, I would uh, like to ask Peter to reveal who he is. I'm Joseph, your brother. It's been so many years. I haven't seen you guys in so long. All the older siblings and the younger siblings and the new Benjamin. Man, I'll, I'll, I'll give you all of you a hug, but there's just so many of you. You can't cry? <laughs> okay. Give him a, a round of applause for that cry. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. This was my wonderful team. And uh, I can tell you I discovered new things uh, with these guys. Um, they, they have excellent acting skills. But what I've discovered is how different somebody can uh, be in a smaller setting than in a large setting. Uh, most often, we only have people on stage here that are talkative or outgoing or uh, uh, type A personality. But life is not like that. Life has all kinds of temperaments. And in a smaller setting, you can see how everybody can thrive. And that's what I saw with uh, my wonderful team. And uh, yeah, we can close this without saying that there's one more member of this team. His name is Reese. He spent the first day with us. And then he couldn't come any longer. But we want to send him some love. So let's, let's gather together. Where's the camera? What camera is on us? Okay. Hey, Reese. We love you. We missed you. Okay. You were awesome. Take care. All right. Thank you so much, guys. 
you can uh, leave the stage now. I would like to conclude with that famous word that Joseph told his brothers. You meant all this for evil. But God decided to use this for good. Why? To save the life of many. And see how Joseph becomes a miniature representation of Jesus Christ over the centuries. And that's what is called in the Bible typology. When a human being shows you something much bigger, and then at one point you will say, oh, now I understand. Joseph, his character, his behavior is bringing Jesus to us. Now, guys, I need a few volunteers. Come on, come on. Okay, some of you and some of you come on to stage because we need to remove the mess. God can always help us to remove the mess. Okay, don't, don't, uh, don't throw it down. Put it there in a corner, okay? All right, guys? Okay? Guys, 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 guys. Put it there in a corner, and I will come with a can and uh, gather that trash. All right. Give them a round of applause.